a thermocouple uses an effect called the Seebeck effect to measure temperature. In this flashcard, we're going to look at the structure of a thermocouple and look at two advantages of a thermocouple instead of using a liquid in glass thermometer. So first of all, we can say that a thermometer is used to measure temperature. Temperature. Now to be more precise, we should actually say temperature difference. And that will become apparent in just a moment. So let's take a look at the structure of a, of a thermocouple. Now, a thermocouple has two different metals joined together at two junctions. So if we were to draw this out, we would see it looking something like this. So we've got our first metal here, which is copper. So this is copper. And we're going to join that with another metal called constantan. So I'm going to draw that in grey. So there's our first junction, literally together touching. Now then that comes over here and we have another junction and we'll connect it with the, the copper. Okay, now these are then fed into a sensitive voltmeter. So this is a sensitive voltmeter. The first junction is called the reference junction. The reference junction. And we should put that in a known temperature, such as in a glass of ice or a beaker of ice. So let's do that. I'm going to put that in a beaker and it's full of icy water with ice cubes. So we know that that's at zero degrees Celsius. And that's our first junction. The second junction is our measurement probe. Our measurement probe junction. That's the junction that we're going to measure with. So let's say that that's at room temperature, say at 20 degrees Celsius. When you have a difference in temperature between these two junctions of different metal, and we need to just label that up here, this is constan tan. You can use other metals as well, this is just one example. But when you've got a temperature difference between the two junctions, that creates a small EMF, a small voltage in this circuit, which will cause a current to flow and we would register a reading on the voltmeter here. So this could be a very sensitive ammeter or a sensitive voltmeter. Okay, so let's just write a couple of words about that so you can understand how it works. We've got if the two junctions are at different temperatures a small electromotive force or EMF remember that's the same thing as voltage or potential difference is produced and the the larger the temperature difference, then the larger the EMF. So the larger the, I'm going to put delta T as in difference, delta stands for change, so difference in temperature, then the larger the EMF. And that enables us to measure temperature through the voltage that's produced. And so that's a pretty useful effect, this Seebeck effect. 
So I should just mention that this is copper here again. So what are the advantages of a thermocouple compared to a liquid in glass thermometer? Well, I'll give you three. So the first one is that it has a very fast response time. It doesn't take a lot of energy to increase the temperature of these measurement probes at this junction because there's not much metal there to heat up. It's also very robust so that it's difficult to break. Very tough. Uh, compared to a liquid in glass thermometer which can be smashed or broken, um, a thermocouple is a pretty tough instrument. And that's why it can be used in things such as kilns and gas turbine exhausts, uh, diesel engines and uh, even flame sensors on your cooker, uh, on your gas cooker, could be a thermocouple. And a third reason why it's very useful is that it's got a very wide temperature range. The constantan copper um, can measure between minus 200 degrees and 350 degrees minus 200 degrees Celsius. Well, it's pretty cold all the way up to 350 degrees Celsius. That's, that's a pretty large range compared to a liquid in glass thermometer. And in fact, if you use different metals, then you can get a range of temperatures which can go from minus 250 degrees Celsius all the way up to 2,500 degrees Celsius. Now that would be jolly useful in a lot of industrial applications when you need to measure huge temperatures. And that's the thermocouple.